This is Twit. So I actually just recently did a little story for a little site called Android Police. Uh, it's a little roundup of file browsers, uh, file managers, file browsers, whatever you want to call them. And I thought I would bring one of the one of the choices, one of the picks and kind of showcase it to y'all because I know that this is something that you're probably thinking, Flo, why would I want a file browser? My phone already has one. And it's true that a lot of manufacturers now, they bundle, if you, know, if you have a Pixel, you have whatever Google's file browser is. If you have um, a OnePlus device, you have Google and OnePlus's file browser on there. But there are so many in the Play Store that are really worth looking at just because they bundle in more features. Maybe they have a interface that you would rather use. Today, I wanted to spotlight just like a quick little light app, not something super feature heavy, called Simple File Manager Pro. Now, you do have to pay for it. It's $1.19, but, you know, I'm very in support of supporting your devs, so you can spot that. That's like half a cup of coffee there. And the reason this app is so just like worth telling you about is just that it's it's an incredibly light app light app, excuse me. It's only 2.4 megabytes, which is like insane when you think about it. Um, so it will work really well on any like low end device, or it would just work well if you decide that you don't like what your manufacturer bundled with your phone. And maybe you just want another app that doesn't take up a lot of room. Um, some of the kind of like the key features to think about this is that it only works with localized files. So not really the kind of thing to use if you've got a lot of cloud accounts, um, but it does help you kind of navigate root files if your phone is rooted. Lets you navigate SD cards, um, you know, if you want to plug that in uh, via USB, as well as uh, any other USB files. So if you do end up uh, kind of plug in like a hard drive or something of the sort. Um, there's also a password protection feature, which I really like, and that will kind of let you um, hide something kind of behind an extra little security wall. You know, maybe there's some sensitive, you know, for instance, and maybe I shouldn't mention this, but I'm going to, I keep my, I keep a copy of my driver's license on my phone because sometimes I need that number. And then, you know, just in case something happens, I have it on me. Uh, it's also, it also has a little light file editor. So if there's, you know, maybe some text you need to go in and fix up before you turn it in, you can do that. You can also print from it. Although I know Google Cloud Print is kind of on the outs right now. And you kind of basically have to find an app that works with the printer you have. But that's beside the point. This app is only 2.4 megabytes. And that's really why I wanted to bring it and kind of show it off because it's super light and why not? So simple file manager pro. Why it's simple. Not? I feel like a file manager is like, you need to find a good one and have one always on your yep. phone. And so I'm, I'm always looking for a better one. So I'm going to check this one out. So. Or if you don't like what I brought today, you can go to my article and I have other choices there. There you go. Check out the article ding, ding, ding. on Android Police by Florence. Burke, by the way, says this is the file manager that he's been using for years. So oh, you've great. got Burke's vote. 